talking about doubling up. I probably watched my dad kill Dana tell how many turkeys, and he's watched vice versa. But we didn't double up till about two years ago. So originally I started hunting, probably dove hunting was the first thing I ever done. Um, from the time I can remember, my dad took me dove hunting religiously. I mean, every weekend we was going, you know, that was back when we had a lot of migratory birds and we hunted at least two or three times a week. I was taking the Daisy BB gun out and, um, you know, pretending to shoot dove. And, you know, it just from that, that point on, I was hooked. Um, probably turkey hunting, the first ever time I ever went turkey hunting, I killed a turkey. Um, we had no experience at all. Like my dad, he, he was a, like, my grandpa didn't hunt. He started hunting on his own. And then he decided he wanted to try turkey hunting. So him and his cousin went, first time they ever went, they killed a bird. If you've ever turkey hunted before, you know it's not easy to kill a turkey. I mean, it's just not. But they go, they kill a turkey like it's one, two, three, like easiest thing they ever done. So me and my dad, he goes and buys this $8 box call from Walmart and decides he's gonna go out and uh, take me turkey hunting. So we, we, haven't, we haven't fed turkeys. We hadn't even checked to see if there are any turkeys. We just went and uh, we go and set up. My dad literally parks the four-wheeler on a tree line, like out in the open. And um, we sit there, it's the evening time. It's like, I mean, this is when it's getting dark at eight o'clock in the evening. Um, I'm, I mean, maybe I'm 10 or 11 years old. I've, I've never even thought about shooting a turkey. And he, uh, we hear a turkey go, or he says, I, I hear one way off in the distance. And uh, five minutes from then, here come two gobblers walking down the fence line, literally walked right around the four-wheeler. And I shot him with a number eight Rio at 40 yards. And it was, from then on, I've been hooked. The reason I hunt really isn't the hunt. It's the relationships I have when I hunt, you know, the, the people you meet when you hunt. I mean, I love to hunt. I love to kill. I mean, that's, I mean, there's no greater feeling than when you kill that, that mallard or you kill that turkey or, you know, whatever it is that you love to do. I mean, there's no greater feeling than that. And there's no worse feeling than when you miss. I mean, I've laid on the ground and squall like a little baby after missing a turkey before. I mean, it, it's the worst feeling in the world, but um, the relationships you build with people you meet when you go out of state and you hunt, or the people that you hunt with, the bond that you have with them, is to me, that that's what makes hunting. I mean, um, when I started dating my fiance, she had never hunted a day in her life, and I'd take her to the dove field and she'd absolutely hate it. She hated it. She hated being out there. and. One day I decided to give her a gun and let her shoot and she fell in love with it. Now she likes to go more than I do. And it's just, I like taking people and, and showing them why hunting means so much to me and why it is what it is and just experiencing it. The, the feel of hunting is unreal. Um, but when you do it with somebody that you love or you care about, it just makes it so much more special. I mean, I've been with, I mean, Kip, whether it's killing stuff or killing a turkey with my dad, I, I don't I don't deer hunt at all, so I, I'm not going to talk about deer hunting any during this. But um, killing turkeys with my dad, you know, doubling up or seeing him kill one or him seeing me kill one, that's just stuff money can't buy. Um, going out and making memories. I mean, I could go hunting and not kill any a dove, a duck, a turkey, not hear a turkey, and it's still special just to go and make those memories and stuff that you do. Um, when you, when you out there in the woods, just, I mean, just being in the woods is a special feeling. All right, so we started in the gum business in 2015, which would be, this is, this will make seven years. We've been in it in March. Um, just being in the gum business and dealing with people every day that love to hunt and just being the outdoors like I do, you know, it makes me appreciate it even more. Um, you know, hearing people's hunt stories and just seeing people appreciate wildlife and nature and being or just being outside. You know, I have people come up, drive 
or come, come up from Florida, they'll drive seven or eight hours, or they come down from Atlanta, drive four hours just to come down here and get to do something that I'm fortunate enough to get to do every day. Overall, being in the gun business and just getting to see people live out their dreams as far as hunting is pretty awesome and, and being able to be a part of that and sell people their dream guns and help them with it and get it, you know, sighted in and all that is just overall a, a big part of my life. Like I said before, um, the relationships you build when you're hunting is probably the most meaningful thing. The reason I get up in the morning, the reason I go hunting, you know, is just to be out there in the woods with my dad and some of my best friends. And, uh, but I mean, that feeling when you pull that trigger, whether it be good or bad is a monumental thing. I mean, it's, it can be the worst feeling in the world or it can be the best feeling in the world. And I mean, I think that's what keeps me going. The feeling of, you know, whether it be a group of 20 milers out there circling in front of you about to cut in the decoys or whether it be a turkey strutting at 20 yards drumming, you know, just that feeling you get in your heart and um, the, the love of just being out there. I think, you know, I always hear people say when, when, you, when you don't have that feeling anymore, you need to quit. I don't think ever in a million years, if I stayed here that long, I would ever lose that feeling. Um, it's, it's just, hunting does something for me that nothing else does, and I wouldn't change that for anything. I'm Wes Sean, and this is my story.